A reading from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 13. When Jesus was teaching the crowds, some of those present told him about the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Jesus asked them, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were worse sinners than all other Galileans? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those eighteen who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others living in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish just as they did. Then Jesus told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it and found none. So he said to the gardener, See here, for three years I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and still I find none. Cut it down. Why should it be wasting the soil? The gardener replied, Sir, let it alone for one more year until I dig around it and put manure on it. If it bears fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. As of October 23rd, 2020, 9,862 COVID-19 deaths have been reported in Canada. As of this third quarter of the year, the estimated population of Canada is 38,005,238. The death ratio of COVID-19 to the total population is about 0.025949054. This means averagely 2.6 deaths per 10,000 people or one death per 3,847 due to COVID-19. Since I don't have anybody I know who died from COVID-19, apparently, my Canadian acquaintances are less than 4,000. Moreover, I don't even personally know any person in Canada who has contracted the virus during the pandemic. So far, at least one out of 200 got infected in Canada. Then, does it mean I know less than 200 people in this land? This pandemic feels like a problem of somewhere else. Of course, I feel sorry for those who had lost their lives and their families. But still, this pandemic doesn't feel real. Today in the Gospel, however, Jesus asks, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were worse sinners than all other Galileans? Do I consider myself good and virtuous because I am spared from disasters? The Lord may call us from this life at any time. If I don't feel real, even if I see people are unexpectedly leaving this world, I must have been in a spiritual slumber. I must have a false sense of security. But life is fragile. My judgment day can arrive at an hour I don't expect. Then I have to settle an account with the Lord. Am I ready for it? Christ warns us, Unless you repent, you will all perish 
just as they did. We are still here in the world because the Lord is patient with us. He grants us time to repent our sins, purify our hearts, and build virtues. The Son of God asks His Father in heaven, Let it alone for one more year until I dig around it and put manure on it. But we don't live forever. The Lord gives me today for bearing fruit and preparing for the life to come. Christ makes it clear. If it bears fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down.